A girl at my gym keeps recording me. I'm sick of it. So I think I acted rudely with a girl in the gym and wanted to get opinions on if I was the a-hole in this situation. I, 41 male, go to the gym early morning around 5.30 a.m. There are generally very few people that come to the gym at that time. There's a girl, early 20s, that also comes to the gym at the same time. We always say hello to each other and have a small talk between our sets. She comes in early because the gym is empty and she likes to record herself working out as she wants to be a fitness influencer or something. She seems dedicated and we've known each other for at least a year. By the way, this comes from TW Gym Help 12312 on the r slash okay story time subreddit so today morning as i was working out she came to me and asked for help she was very excited and told me that she wanted to go for a pr on barbell squat personal record she asked me if i could spot her as she was not confident if she would be able to do it i said okay as this is not the most uncommon thing for people who are unfamiliar this is an exercise where you carry a barbell with weights on your back and perform a squat the spotter has to stand behind the person and support the person in case they fail to get up. As she was getting ready, I saw her phone in the corner and asked her if I can be off camera or if she can stop recording. She said she really wanted to record herself doing it and I will look good on camera. I think if anyone asks does not be not appropriate record, especially at a gym, I think that I have a lot of feelings about I think filming too many in the people, gym. Too many yeah. people record in gyms. Yeah, it's uh, I feel like you want your privacy in that space yeah. because it's a very personal Yeah, it's like you're one activity. you're super sweaty and also for some people, it's kind of, you know, it's hard to motivate yourself to go to the gym and you're Absolutely. trying not to have, be observed. People feel weird about being on camera, being posted on social media, because obviously that's where it's going. And I think... And also that opens up to dangerous things of like men recording women, at, you know? And so there's like a lot of like stuff. And I think this is part of that. Yeah. But it just if someone says don't record me... Just don't record them. Another reason that I did not tell her was that she was wearing a very revealing outfit, small sports bra and tight shorts. Okay, well, and I really did not feel comfortable being recorded standing beside her. She promised me that she will record it for herself and not post the video. However, I just didn't want to be recorded. I told her that I feel really uncomfortable and if she waits for 30 minutes, one of the trainers may be able to help her. She became really upset and asked why I'm making this situation weird. She accused me of sexualizing her. <laughs> she asked me if she was a man, would I have done it? I felt she had a point as I have done it for other people. I told her that I would be okay doing it, but I just don't want to be recorded doing it it's so simple i think that was all the original argument it's, anyway it's so simple you're in the gym this guy's willing to help you which by the way some people wouldn't offer a spot yeah some people would be like i'm doing my workout i don't want to yeah, i don't have time yeah. for that yeah she again went on a rant about me body shaming her and me being uncomfortable with her perfectly fine outfit <laughs> ah i just that's not the issue i mean that's like a separate thing i doubt her outfit's probably that revealing probably just gym thing but but even so it's him not wanting to be recorded yeah. Point blank. I felt bad that I upset her as she was just trying to work out. I have also asked people to spot me in the past and people always helped. However, I just didn't want to be recorded. Am I the a-hole for refusing to spot her because she was recording it? I don't want her to feel that it was because of her clothes or because she is a girl. However, as a married man, I need to observe some boundaries and really don't want to be recorded in that way with a girl half my age. I am also worried that she recorded our whole conversation and may post it online. I do not know what I should do in this situation and am a bit worried. And there are some relevant comments and an update. I'll read the relevant comments and then we can take a pause because it's just two. Ashley Dawn 419 says, not the a-hole. People who are pointing out the line of how you think it would look inappropriate if a coworker or wife saw you aren't familiar with lifting. If she reached failure, it would absolutely look bad on you because people don't understand what spotting and having to assist with squats looks like. Opie says that was exactly what went through my mind. Plus, who knows what commentary someone can put on top of these videos to make it go viral. And there is an update, but... <laughs> We're going to pause for a moment. I think this is one of the easiest of the stories we've read. The easiest one for me to be like, not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. Yeah. OP just doesn't want to be recorded. And I think regardless of his reasonings, if someone says, I don't want to be recorded. They don't want to be recorded. Leave it at that. Yeah. And the gym, like I do respect her for going super early, like 5.30 a.m. before people are there. Do your thing. That is respectful. But the whole filming in the gym thing has just, filming anybody I think in a place where they don't want to be filmed has become way too much of a thing. Yes. But yeah, just let him be. I think just being, I mean, if you are going to film yourself in the gym, make sure that, you know, if anyone is in it, 
Don't post it. Yeah, don't post it or like blur them out or anything. Uh, just be like very aware and respectful, I think. Yeah. But I was also going to say, I feel like I've seen a lot of these posting in gyms or like walking up to people in the gym. And I've seen these like spotting videos and they are pretty intimate. Like oh, obviously yeah. it doesn't, it's not actually intimate most times. It's like they're just helping and you have to, you know, grab their waist or you have to grab here. Just the part that I like the most for safety but i understand what he's saying of like the comments might be like oh who they're so cute together i've seen the joke videos though where you are like pretending to bring someone over to spot but it's actually like your significant other and yeah. they're just like all up on them so yeah it's it's a very intimate yeah. and the comments that he's i think he's what he's worried about is like comment section of being like yeah he's worried about his wife yeah i think he's just trying to be respectful i think the outfit it seems like was part of it which is a separate issue like i think that i'm like ah she's probably just wearing a gym outfit however i think that doesn't you know undercut him being uncomfortable about recording like i think that's a, a separate issue and he's allowed to say no regardless yeah anybody can say no i think anyone can say no to that but let's get into the update i do not think it will blow up so much that my wife got the story on her tiktok <laughs> What happened after was pretty unexpected and my life is a bit absurd right now. I was worried that she would post our conversation about me refusing her help online and show me as the bad guy. I told my wife about the conversation and she said that she has seen posts where young girls do add nasty voiceovers and make men my age look like creeps for views. That's terrible. My wife told me that I should just complain to the gym management about her or recording me without my consent just to get ahead of things. When I went to the gym next week, I saw her again. I tried to keep my distance but she kept on smiling at me. As I finished my sets, she came to me and asked me if we could talk. She wanted to apologize for her behavior from the previous day and how it was wrong for of her to assume that I would be okay with her recording me. That's nice. Okay. All right. Okay. An apology is always nice yeah it was a pleasant surprise as i was not expecting that i told her that it was okay and i just don't like to be recorded in general she followed me outside and continued the conversation she asked me how long i have been working out and if i could advise her on her form i told her that there are some really good personal trainers in the gym i could recommend to her but she told me that she is unemployed and cannot afford them i love that unemployed. unemployed oh no she told me she will buy me a coffee if i can give her some pointers pause really quick i think in a lot of these stories we see men who are oblivious and just kind of like they're like oh this is just a friendly relationship and keep going and then their wives in the story or like their partners in the stories are like what are you doing this is making me uncomfortable it feels like op is trying to be like super respectful and he's really tuned into this situation i know and it's so hard because ah uh, i feel like i could see a situation in the gym where maybe there was a girl who saw a guy who was yeah. really like into his gym routine and the on it and great at lifting and was like hey can you show me some stuff i can't afford the personal training but like i would love Absolutely. some tips I think that, yeah but it seems like the recording aspect and maybe I the fact she, he's just uncomfortable he's uncomfortable yeah and i think i feel like that's the end that's of it. it yeah like yeah of course yeah absolutely could be a world where she's literally just asking for help yeah not this world yeah <laughs> at this point i felt i was just being rude and told her sure <laughs> And we went to a nearby coffee shop. Her name is Haley. She graduated last year, moved back to her mom's house, and is looking for a job. She was very chubby last year and wants to look like the TikTok fitness models and is trying hard to get into shape. We had a nice conversation and I was able to help her with some of her questions. She already knew my name and asked me if my wife would be okay if she follows me on Instagram. Okay. I mean, you know, asks about the wife. That's I something. guess. But also, I feel like I would just ask someone for Instagram and then let them decide yeah yeah that's true because i asked everyone for their instagram wait how does she know that he's married i think he's talked about it okay i told her that the main purpose of that account is for my wife to spy on my friends lives so i generally don't use it she asked me if i use snapchat and i had to remind her that i am twice her age also snapchat snapchat, snapchat is out snapchat, snapchat no. is out. i'm sorry you asked if it was okay if his like if his wife was okay with instagram and then proceeded to ask about snapchat no snapchat is the funniest <laughs> of them all no 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 this is where it got crazy when i came home i told my wife about what happened 
My wife loves her reels and TikToks and wanted to see if she ever posted the video from previous week. I only knew that her first name was Haley and how she looked and told my wife about it. When I came back from work in the evening, my wife was already home and sitting on the sofa. She was grinning ear to ear and told me to immediately sit next to her. Apparently, this girl has been posting about me and calling me her gym crush. Oh, no. For the last two months. No, no, no. I mean, flattering, but <laughs> no. No. A lot no. of videos were her sitting in her car every morning and making up completely fictional romantic stories about our interactions each video had like a hundred plus likes which my wife says is not a lot but feels like a lot that's yeah not a lot for tiktok that's not a lot so he was right there's more there's more but he was right gosh he was right i wanted it guys i want to think optimistically and be like no she just wants some help oh my I, I but like we read so few stories where the guy is actually like what's the opposite of oblivious aware aware <laughs> <laughs> We're so used to be them being oblivious, we forget the word aware. Yeah. I was about to say oblivious. Oblivious. He was so oblivious. He was so oblivious. Um, and he was super. He was finally aware of the situation and of her like. That's hinting at, wild. And yeah. also, I feel like that's kind of disrespectful and inappropriate. And also, just even if he didn't have a wife, knowing how he felt about not wanting to be recorded, not wanting to be a part of that, and yet you're talking about you're him. You're talking about him. Uh, she had posted some videos of us just passing each other and smiling. Red flag. Or our conversation where I was telling her to stop recording with voiceover about how I approached her in the gym and complimented her body. So she's lying. She posted that. So she posted a video of him saying, like, don't record me. And then added voiceover being like, and then he said he complimented my body. He said my body was tea. <laughs> he said my body was tea. That's really weird, really annoying and rude. Yeah, very rude. Very rude. Very rude, especially when someone explicitly says, don't freaking record me. Uh. Uh. TLDR, OP uh, goes to the gym and there is this 20 year old girl girl who has been kind of like asking him to help out with like sets and also help out with like spotting her and she's been recording herself a lot for her account and then tried to record a video with him in it and he said no I'm not comfortable being recorded and then she kind of pushed back uh, and basically has been tr like kind of flirting with him and he just found out that she's been posting videos about him and also videos of him even though he said don't do that oh that would piss me off would piss me off I would be really annoyed if I found out someone was recording me like what do you do in that situation I really don't know I mean maybe maybe that's when I would go to the gym like front desk people and be like I don't feel comfortable I pay for my membership i want to be here can someone please talk to her yeah this is really not okay yeah there was a video from that morning about her coming to me while i was packing up with her saying how i asked her out for coffee she's just making up fictional romantic bs for getting likes and people were commenting and cheering for her there were also other videos of her working out and posing in the gym locker room my wife was laughing uncontrollably about how big of a sucker I am and how I'm internet famous now. I feel like he wasn't even a sucker, though. Okay, but yay for wife having, like, a yeah, chill reaction. She's like, well, she, I feel like because he's been so communicative and been like, this is not making me comfortable. She's been doing this. Just wanted to let you know. Yeah. You are not oblivious. You're not oblivious. <laughs> Wait, no, no, he is oblivious. He's not oblivious, according to my new terminology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told her this needs to stop, but my wife insisted that she is too invested in the drama now and wants to see what happens next. Wife seems cool. She said that this girl is really young and just trying to establish herself and get more followers. Plus, she's not done anything inappropriate and is not showing my face in the videos. My wife just wants me to play along and see what Crazy Haley does next. Crazy Haley. And there are some uh, relevant comments and a little bit less left of the story. I didn't realize you couldn't see his face in it. Yeah, I think regardless, it seems like he's still being recorded. Still sucks. Yeah. Still a boundary that Especially you shouldn't he, cross. Just because he's like explicitly said it. Yeah. The wife's like, no, you got to keep this up so She's we can like, see She's like, I'm trying to watch this. The wife's, the wife's could be like, you should take her on a date. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, take her out of coffee. Do it. Oh, man. Courtney Brady says she hasn't done anything inappropriate. What? His wife is a little out there, LOL. Yeah, I think the only, like, she has because he's uncomfortable. Yeah. So I feel like that. I think, yeah, I think she might be being a little silly. The gym crush videos did it for me. Yeah. That's what did it for me. If yeah. that were not in there, I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, she like maybe she didn't post anything. But the fact that she specifically posted stuff, she's been for two months posting about yeah. him. She's into him. Yeah. Because now we know why she wanted that video with him in it. Ooh. 
but there are some relevant comments. Did the girl know OP was married? And OP says, yes, she knows I'm married. I wear my ring in the gym. And also I talk about my wife all the time to her. Love it. Let's go. I also feel it's a bit weird for a 22 year old person to make up stories. My wife feels she's just using me as an NPC in her fiction to gain more viewers and create drama. We discussed about it and she told me about how some girls just make up stories about bad first dates on TikTok and it gets them a lot of views. My wife feels it's weird, but I need to see the humor in the situation. At least it's entertaining and she wants to know where her story goes next. And then what was all that about in the coffee discussions? OP says, what are the coffee discussions like? It seems weird for her to do that if it's just for TikTok attention. It's easier for her to make stuff up. The coffee discussions are very fitness oriented and she genuinely has legit questions. Oh, because they're going out for coffee. Right. Right. They did do that. We do discuss stuff about our lives, mostly hers, and she shares her struggles in getting a job and life in general for a Gen Z person. However, she has never said anything inappropriate. I feel she must have had some footage of me passing her and smiling and greeting her and just use that in her edit. Also, by the way, you can join us live on YouTube every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just top our profile. And there's a little bit left to this story, but I think that maybe he should confront her if this is making him uncomfortable or talk to the gym, as you said. But it's weird because now that he's chatted with his wife and she's kind of like, this is kind of comical. Yeah. Well, it's one thing for her not to be, unco- you know, upset by it. And another thing for him, like, to be uncomfortable by it. But I feel like a lot of what made him uncomfortable was like, it's going to make my wife uncomfortable. So now that wife is cool with it. Maybe he's cool. Right. Yeah. I think it just depends on his feelings. If he's like, okay, I guess she's chill with it. Then I'll, I won't talk about it. But if he is still like, uh, yeah, then yeah, go yeah. to the staff. I think there's a thing to be like, hey, I'm down to help you in the gym and like help you, you know, get bit. But um, I'm not down with the gym crush narrative on your social media platform. Please take me out of it. Yeah, use someone else. (laughs) Use someone else. Use that guy. Yeah, pick a new one. Well, let's finish the story off. Let's take a quick pause on this story right here. Gotta tell you something. Okay. I've been reading so many stories. We were calculating it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. 72,800... No, 80... 85 and 600 (laughs) minutes. I'm starting to feel the effects. Like what? My lips are cracking. Oh, no. Because I have to open my mouth every day. Oh, God. My eyes are drying up. I would cry for you, but I can't. I have no tears left to cry. Is there anything we can do to possibly help heal your ailments? There's one. What is it? ZocDoc. ZocDoc! ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high quality in-network doctors and choose the right one for your needs and click instantly to book an appointment. We're talking about in-network appointments with more than 100,000 healthcare providers across every specialty. From mental health to dental health, eye care to skin care, and much more. You can filter your doctors who take your insurance, who are located nearby, who are a good fit for any medical need that you might have, and who are highly rated by verified patients. You can also see their actual appointment openings, choose a time that works for you, and click to instantly book a visit. Plus, ZocTalk appointments happen fast! Lickety split. Typically within just 24 to 72 hours of booking, you can even score some same-day appointments. Uh. It's pretty great, right? It's pretty amazing. Listen, Sophia, I use ZocDoc. We use ZocDoc. You should freaking use it too, guys. Use ZocDoc. So stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to ZocDoc.com slash OKOP to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. Let's get back into the show. So for the last two weeks, I have been going to the gym, talking to her every day, and my wife keeps me updated on what story she came up with me for the day. We go for coffee every Wednesday, and I'm mentoring her about nutrition and what she should focus on to the best of my abilities. It's all a game for my wife, and I do not want Haley to succeed as long as she does not cross a line. However, the whole thing feels crazy, and I'm too old to deal with this crap. I'm not sure how long I can keep up with the act. Her behavior seems innocent, but also I'm getting uncomfortable with the whole thing now and this sustains the question of what actions can cause irreparable damage to a relationship 
I think he's uncomfortable. So that's I, think, what, yeah. I think he's uncomfortable. I think we're uh, too deep now. Yeah. Coffee every Wednesday? Every Wednesday? Weekly coffee? I don't get coffee with anybody weekly. It's weird. It's like, be careful what you wish for or not wish for, but it's like the wife. It's a weird dynamic. Honestly, I don't love the wife's energy anymore. <laughs> no. I think it was like funny because I, I thought she was joking. I thought she was like, no, keep it going. Like playfully, but it seems like she's like actually committed to it. And I don't love that because he's uncomfortable. He's also kind of feeding into this girl's delusions about their relationship and maybe she's like oh he's actually in he seems like a really nice guy and it seems like he doesn't know how to say no yeah and there is the element of like it said she's trying to get into shape yeah and so he feels bad he's like oh she actually wants help right but i think either i think his solution here is either talk to her and say hey i'd love to keep helping you out but i don't love how you're talking about me on uh, online i don't feel comfortable about that and if you continue to do that i'm not going to be able to help you anymore oh i like that yeah and then second option if he doesn't want to do direct stuff go to the gym you know the managers and say hey this has been happening don't feel comfortable if you could have a conversation that feels too little too late yeah i think because they have a friendship yeah and they're going to get coffee i think that's i think it's just being like i yeah this relationship is giving me some anxiety yeah and you know i'm happy to occasionally you know help you out but like i don't think we should be meeting up weekly and yeah please don't talk about me on social media yeah uh shelby says i think the wife is kind of the biggest a-hole here she shouldn't be pushing her husband to do something that makes him uncomfortable for her own entertainment it's nice that she isn't blaming him but eh, that's how i feel at first again i was like oh she's okay with it that's good that she's not blaming him and then i'm like I feel like if, I don't know, if I were in the wife's shoes, I'd just be like, oh, this girl probably just like wants your help in the gym and like you're really fit and strong, like you should just help her, you know? But then I think if I heard they were getting weekly coffees, I'd be like, stop helping her. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't need that much help. Panda Ammonia says, I feel like the wife shouldn't be okay with it. Like understanding OP isn't involved is great, but basically encouraging when he's uncomfortable is not okay. Agreed. 100%. My girlfriend's furious. I deleted intimate pictures of my ex before showing her my current girlfriend is pissed at me because i deleted old pics from an ex-girlfriend from 14 years ago without letting her see them weird while cleaning out my closet i recently found my old ipod touch this thing's from 2010 and i absolutely loved it stumbling upon it after all these years is like finding a time capsule so we excitedly hooked it up to see what 2010 to 2013 me was up to while having a good time laughing at all the tall tees small bod and extremely fake bling <laughs> Oh, God help me. And fitted caps I wore back when we were going through the pictures together. We stumbled across some butt naked pics from an old relationship I forgot were on there. Spicy pics. That's dangerous going through photos. also think it's so funny that he had this on an iPod. <laughs> I remember my iPod. Actually, did I have an iPod touch? I had a really old iPod. I didn't iPod mini. I had like, you know, like the chunky, like you could just listen to the music on it. A shuffle. Is, yeah, I think it was the iPod Shuffle. Yeah, it was like that really chunky one. I remember I had that. There we go. Throwback. By the way, this comes from CyberDriverXXX on the OK Storytime subreddit. So trying not to make a big deal of it, I said, oh, crap, and turned the iPod away from her and deleted the pictures, which I thought she would understand. Was I wrong? First, she playfully asked to see them. I told her no. She knows that's messed up, and things quickly went very south from there. She wanted to see them? That's just really icky. That is icky. That's Again, not okay. Again, you shouldn't be showing anyone pictures like of intimate anybody picture, else. Any, yeah. Uh, Alyssa Roxanne says, no, you can't show other Nikki pics without the original sender's knowledge. That's the one I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. I think that it doesn't seem like OP intentionally kept them. No. I think it was just like, he was like, I don't have this phone anymore. Yeah. But you should never be showing intimate pictures with anyone but the sender. Exactly. She started accusing me of hiding things, saying she just wants to see what she looks like and that it's no big deal, and eventually started crying. I told her the pictures are from 14 years ago, and if I showed my ex's spicy pics to her, what's to stop her from thinking I wouldn't show her spicy pics to someone else if they, you know, whined and moaned enough? And now she accuses me of calling her a 
a B, belittling her and already thinking of the next woman. Things are seriously snowballing and I've never seen this weirdly jealous and nosy side of her before. We've been together for about six months, but on and off again, friends with benefits for about two years. And she knows I don't have patience for silly childish crap like this. So I kicked her out of my apartment. Oh my gosh. She calls me an a-hole and says she's going to have to think about our relationship. And I told her if she wants to break up over some nonsense like this, then we shouldn't have gotten together in the first place. Okay, true, but kind of stings to hear that. It stings, but I honestly think that she's being wildly inappropriate. And he's also not saying that I want to break up with you. She's saying that. Yeah. And he's like, you know what? If this is your line in the sand, then fine. I'm not showing you pictures. I know I was right for not showing her the pictures and the tears was a manipulation tactic, but I'm absolutely stumped as to why she would try so hard to see that. Them and figured maybe this sub could provide some insight into this utter madness which by the way I mean maybe you're intrigued by like what that person looked like you know and oh, like why the girlfriend is asking yeah. yeah I think there's probably some insecurity definitely some insecurity but I think it's ridiculous yeah I don't know to be insecure about a relationship that happened 14 years ago yeah 14 and to be like you're hiding something like again not only is it this, this is old pictures but we know they are 14 years old because they're on an iPod no one uses iPod anymore <laughs> like the, the proof is in that <laughs> oh my goodness this just feels, yeah. Some comments. Bodobot said, you'd think she'd have more respect for you for deleting the news and not sharing them. And deleting them in front of her so she knows they're gone. Yeah, and then Opie said, we're having a good time too, mostly laughing at me dressing like a clown in shiny costume jewelry, as was the style at the time. And this was like a time capsule, you know? Ancient and legendary memes. Hide your wife, hide your kids. Classic. Rick rolling, Afro ninja, and cyber police. Convos with friends long gone or grown up with the family now. I was really enjoying the nostalgia and then it all went sideways for no reason. But hey, that's life, huh? Another comment, Thariah last. I'm sorry but she's not good yet for an adult relationship not the a-hole update four days later after not talking for a couple of days she finally texted me asking why i haven't called or texted her and i told her the truth i've been mad at her and trying to decide if i wanted to continue the relationship how the fact that we were having a good time one minute and then the next was pure madness reminded me of all the crap i went through with my mom as a teen and how i don't want to deal with that ever again Oh, so it meant a lot more to him than what we, you know, the surface level. Yeah. I had a very emotionally abusive mom that would constantly cause fights over literally nothing. Think DVDs, staple guns, tape measures, etc. And then kick me out of the house in order to show me whose goddamn house this is. So I have an extremely low tolerance for people starting up and coming at me over petty nonsense. And to top it all off, my mom has since passed away. So that's another layer of things. But I've never tried to make my issues anyone else's problem. I've told her about my mother before, so she knew all about this. You know, she told me she didn't mean to make me feel that way, but my flat out refusal to show her the pictures combined with me turning away from her when I was deleting the spicy pics made her feel like I was hiding things and rejecting her. I don't know. I've had people like in my life accidentally be like, oh, uh, you know, it, sorry, 14 years uh, ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could have just been a conversation. She doesn't need to see the photos to feel validated in her feelings. Yeah. I immediately called BS because I told her we were going to keep looking through the iPod. I was just deleting my ex's spicy pics and she damn well knows it. And in the two plus years we've known each other, I've never given her any reason whatsoever to doubt me or think I'm a liar. I eventually got tired of texting so I try to call her and she rejects the call telling me she's not ready to speak yet. I tell her I'm done texting so call me when she's ready to talk and I quit replying. She starts sending me angrier and angrier messages and when I wouldn't reply back, F you this is controlling, what the F's wrong with texting, go F your red headed B ah. my lord ah. My ex in the pictures was a redhead and has been out of my life for over a decade. 14 years ago. She's like, go find her. <laughs> she then she goes and buys a red wig. This is so embarrassing to be so jealous about a relationship that is 14 years old. She'd be jealous. She then sends a picture of an action figure that's been broken apart. And I immediately knew who it was. Prison Mike. It was effing Prison Mike. He was innocent in all of this. You see, much like myself and a lot of you, and she loves The Office. So for her birthday this year, I hunted down a 3D printed Prison Mike with a 1 to 12 scale head and a little mug, combined it with a two-faced figure's body, and spent a week 
painting them both. Oh, that is a great gift. I then printed out a backdrop of the conference room as well as pictures of the main cast, except Andy, I hate him, and made a diorama with standees of them in it for the prison mic figure. All combined, the thing took about two weeks to make, but it was fun. And when I gave it to her, she went nuts, hugging me, kissing me, calling me sweet, and it's one of the most thoughtful things someone's ever given her. And now she's apparently taking a hammer to it. She needs to go. She, she needs to go. She needs to go. <laughs> She's gone too far. Not Prison Mike. Yeah. We have some relevant comments. Mind Forever Wandering said, Prison Mike gave his life to save yours. Dear Parsnip 6802, block and move on. She's shown you who she really is. OP said, oh, most definitely. I refuse to be in one of those types of relationships where you come home after a fight and your clothes are cut up or your car windows are busted or prison mic is shattered, you know. And then personal regular 569, raise the boundary a bit higher, honey. Refuse to be in a relationship with explosive fights. Disagreeing with your partner is normal. Screaming, name calling, and being aggressive are not. Your girlfriend had many red flags before she took out prison mic. And a good therapist, so low for you, can help you see these red flags before you get in too deep. Be kind to yourself. You deserve a soft life full of love and a partner who contributes meaningfully to it. You are worthy. And I'm so sorry your mom was so crappy. You didn't deserve that. Can this person write me a letter? and make me feel better about my life please and then thaddeus toad esquire i'm sorry to see how things panned out but i'm glad you're safely away from this person if i may ask given all her unhinged behavior do you think she would have had used you showing the spicy pics if you had against you later i bet she would have whoa and op says oh hell yeah that's almost always 100 percent a trap at worst and a test at best and they're both massive and unacceptable red flags uh, by the way, you can join us live on YouTube every day at 3 p.m. PST. Just tap our little profile. And OP says, I'm done. I don't know what the heck her problem is. And like Phil Collins. <laughs> I like OP. Elder millennial, we know this. And like Phil Collins, I don't care anymore. Property destruction, whether hers or mine, for any reason, especially revenge, is automatically game over for me. I'm shocked, annoyed, and confused, but still thank you all for your interest and responses. And please pour one out for Prison Mike. He was truly the bell of the ball. Do, 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 do. Well... Yeah, so many red flags. I mean, just just the f initial red flag. I was like, he should get out of there. Her asking for the spicy pics. Yikes. That's really It's so weird. inappropriate. It's such an inappropriate question. What do you guys think? This may or may not be just like for a personal. What about Polaroids? Spicy pics on Polaroids. How do you dispose of those? Do you burn them? Hypothetically, if they're of you, then, uh, you know, if you want to keep them. But if they're of someone else, I think m maybe burning them? Burn or I was thinking thinking shred i was about to say shred yeah i was about to say burn or shred but burning is you can make it a whole ritual you can be like you can go out into the moon and be like burn and, you know just go out to the moon go out to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you quick mean? flight go out to the moon. <laughs> round trip no, like go out at night under a full moon and have like you guys have never done that you've never done like a moon ritual with your friends i've never Okay. See, I've done. Th I haven't done this personally, but I've been with friends where they like burn things. Oh, oh, you mean a moon ritual? <laughs> <laughs> oh my bad. Yeah, you guys haven't done this. We before? should all go out to the moon and burn your spicy Polaroids. Well, they actually. So, like, I don't. I gave them. Oh, so they're out in the world. Yes. Okay, I think you could ask and be like, hey, can you burn? No, that's my thing. Do you ask? Can you ask for them back? I think so. Would you guys do that? I, uh, yeah. If you feel uncomfortable and endangered, I, I would ask for them no, back. No, I don't feel uncomfortable, but I'm like, what is going to happen to them? Because I'm not going to lie, guys. They're very good. So it's like, <laughs> I think I think you can ask for them back. I think you can say, hey, um, because we're no longer together, I would like those pictures back. Oh my gosh, guys, that sounds scary. And maybe I will one day. You know, but I'm just like, I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, what happens when, like, let's say people are gifted intimate gifts. When do you dispose of those? Right when the relationship ends or you keep them until you enter a new relationship? I think that if you are given intimate pictures or intimate gifts, you should, yeah, I think you should delete them when the relationship ends. Or if they are physical gifts, give them back. Or ask your partner or ex-partner whether or not they want them back. Okay. What? 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 Riley's being I, I weird. I have been given some intimate things before and i have given them back i just got reminded of them but you decided like without that person saying can i have them back you were like hey i think i should give these back to you yeah, i didn't want her underwear so i'll give them back damn 
Damn, she give you her underwear? I'm never giving anybody my underwear. Uh, underwear is expensive. You didn't give them to me. She just left them. Oh, wait. So that <laughs> That's different, Riley. That's different. That's someone leaving something That's at your different. house. different. I feel like you just tossed those out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you want those? Because now she knows that you had them. Okay. Anyway, I just, yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the input. But that is the end of that story. Let's get on to this next one. All right, hey. All right, hey. I said yes to a proposal, but then I took it back. I, 25 female, have been, was dating Josh, 28 male, for a little over two years. I have always told him that a public proposal sounds like one of the worst things to me because I like to be private and get anxious about drawing attention to myself in large groups. He's very extroverted and it seems like something he would do. But I thought it would be a non-issue since I told him I didn't want that. A few days ago, we went to a restaurant for our anniversary and he ended up proposing. It wasn't that public, but there were a decent amount of people there and I felt pressured slash didn't want to cause a scene. So I said yes. I didn't mean the yes. Even if he had proposed privately, I would have said no because it's way too soon. Ooh, see that right there is the disconnect. Even outside of the public versus private, but like. Later when we went home, I gave him back the ring and told him that I'm sorry, but I hadn't meant yes. I only said it because of pressure, etc. Plus he knows I would have never have liked the way he did it. He says that I should have said no if I felt that way and getting him excited, then rescinding is talk. That's, I mean. <sighs> I understand what he's saying, but the fact that she's explicitly said I don't want a public proposal. That's the thing, right? One, she's not ready for marriage, right? So there's that. But then you ask her in a way that she doesn't even want. And the amount of pressure, if I were in a public place and someone proposed, of course I'd say yes. I'd so say yes. What? I'd so say yeah. yes. I'd be like, yes. yes. Oh, I'd be so uncomfortable. We haven't really talked in the past couple of days, and I'm not sure if I'm at fault here. By the way, this comes from Leave Big 971 on the r slash OK Storytime subreddit. And there is an edit and an update. So let's get into this edit before we pause. We never talked about marriage in an official way. It was casually brought up here and there, and we both said we wanted it in the future, but never made plans slash decisions. He only knows about my proposal preferences because of the times we sent a video of a proposal or someone else told us how they proposed. I know two years is a lot of time, but we were long distance, half dating or broken up for some of it. In total, I would say we were fully together for just over a year. That is pretty soon. Yeah. Also, my parents have never been married, but I've stayed together for 20 plus years. So it was never something that I felt a rush to get into it. I also feel like I'm too young to get married right now. I think the restaurant was his compromise. It wasn't that public. So I'm not upset at him for doing that. But there were still about 20 people cheering and looking at us. So I felt really awkward uncomfortable and unable to say no when i gave him back the ring i wasn't rude or yelling i explained to him why i said yes and told him that i still wanted to be with him just not get married right now hey you know what i know it's so interesting yeah if it were a private proposal and she were to decline such a nice like i would much more prefer that to having people see that and then having that in the back of my head when i repeat it do you know yeah, what i'm like saying people heard her yeah right like with this is just oh honey like that's so you know but i'm yeah, not ready like, i'm not ready and i also think that a lot of people take no as our relationship is over right which i don't think that rejecting a proposal is a relationship ender no i think it's just saying i'm not ready for that change and i want the relationship to continue for a little bit longer before we make that jump and i think this is why a lot of people i think i even when i was growing up i think i had the misconception that you were just proposed to and it was a huge surprise but realize no, a lot of couples actually talk about marriage a lot before and then that you're expecting it. Yeah. And there is an update, though. Ooh. So let's see if he's being nice about this. Being nice. Because it might be a red flag. I reposted the original yesterday because it got removed, but it seems like most people agree that it's not that horrible that I said yes at first, then told Josh no later. I tried talking to him about it all. Marriage in general and how I didn't feel ready because our relationship hasn't been steady for a long time. But he kept turning the conversation back to how I really messed up by saying yes, then no. I even tried telling him that I was down for a long engagement, but he insisted that he wanted us to get married right now. What's the rush? That's so weird, especially for just one year of like yeah. constant yeah. dating. People have different timelines, but a year. But also if your partner's on not on the same line, unless it's been like, I don't know, eight years or something. And you're like, OK, well, then this is not happening. Yeah. Then it's yeah. like, OK, then we need to reconsider. But if 
if your partner's out, like, give him a minute. Yeah. <laughs> give him a minute. <laughs> we hadn't been dating for that long. Josh and I used to live in the same city, but we met about two to three weeks before he moved to his hometown. I travel a lot for my job, so even though we wanted to be together, it was really hard to find time for each other with the changing time zones. Full-time jobs, oh, and never being in the same actual physical space. His hometown is also in a remote area that takes a lot of time to get to, even from the airport. We ended up breaking up after about six months because it was all a little too hard for both of us. Oh, so they also did have a period where they weren't. Yeah, they were doing some long distance. Yeah. yeah. And then they broke up over it. After a short while of not talking, he was visiting friends in the city where we met. So he asked if I was there and I flew back specifically to see him. That started a weird half dating stage for months where we would call slash text each other every chance we got without actually saying we were dating. Then we realized that we were somehow making the long distance issue that we had been before work so we started officially dating again so it's been about seven months since we restarted the relationship which i think is also something you should consider there's been a lot of pauses and interruptions and a lot of things that you've had to figure out and yeah i think her asking for consecutive time is fair this proposal felt weirdly urgent for no reason so i asked literally everyone i know and our mutual friends if i was crazy for thinking it was too almost everyone said i should just do it what who are these people in your life? I also don't love when people comment, you're the only one in your relationship. How does anybody know what you should or shouldn't do? Yeah, really not up to them. But I guess she did go to her people. Yeah, but I think there is ways to offer advice without actually telling someone to do something. Yeah. But his brother told me that their mom, oh, who Josh partially moved to his hometown to take care of, has a terminal illness and she wants him to get married before she dies. Okay, game changer. There is no clear timeline yet for her illness, but I guess he felt pressure to propose now so that she could see it before she goes. The reason he's upset is because after I said yes and he immediately texted her and now that it's a no, he doesn't want to disappoint her, especially because I told him that I would want to wait a couple more years. This is all stuff that he has never mentioned to me. Also, by the way, you can join us live on YouTube every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just tap her profile. And there's a little bit more of the story, but pause. He should have told her. What's up with these couples not telling each other yeah. like the really important stuff like obviously this is a, i mean i think that is somewhat of a valid you know being like, like would, the, would that change your mind but that's the thing i feel like if he had told her it might have changed your mind it might have been like, okay, we can do that or we can have like a ceremony or something and then maybe postpone it. But we don't know because he didn't ask her. And I think that was up to, like, absolutely should have told her. And then and then she could have made the decision. Okay. For herself, yeah. I don't know. I still think it's too soon. Or like, you know what? Yeah, let's do that for your mom and we'll move forward. It's the communication is just so lacking here. I know. That was kind of heartbreaking, though, to hear that he like texted his mom like it's a yes and then be like, actually, it's a no. No, that's heartbreaking, but it's his fault because he didn't communicate and it's so sad because it is a really tough situation very tough but there's a little bit more i'm not sure what i should do in this situation because i don't want to get married yet but if there's anyone i want to marry it's him his mom will be happy if we do it now but i still can't get over the fact that he never told me the real reason he was proposing and spun it so that i was completely at fault for what i did we're both not even remotely close to getting married anytime soon if there wasn't outside pressure like this. Is it as bad as I'm making it in my head? I feel like he should want to marry me because he wants to take the next steps with me, not because his mom wants him to i'll be honest i agree yeah i agree because as someone who like i have older parents you know my dad is fairly older than my mom and just old in general for the parents of this generation and i definitely worry that he might not be able to see me you know get married uh if I get married <laughs> heavy on the if I think that's just a reality we have to face like our parents might not be there and it's so heartbreaking especially if you have a good relationship with them just the reality yeah but I don't think that yeah I don't think that should be a reason to push yourself into something that you're not ready yeah. for. yeah that's the end of that story wait let's read some comments though before we we close it out dragon mama says uh, yeah he needs to communicate better raluca anka says the mom dying isn't a reason for marriage though yeah yeah duchess Cassandra says uh, anka i agree maybe they can do a ceremony for mom but not actually get married which is kind of what i was saying yeah i think that would be the best idea ceremony of love you know yeah. but i think it's like we could have figured out or they could have figured out an answer if he had brought it up 
Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't have that conversation and just be like, hey, proposing has been on my mind because obviously I love you, but also my mom's illness. And I just want to know where you're at. Yeah. And what we could potentially do to bring our families together yeah. in this time. In this time. Because you know? I want her to see, uh, like, I want her to see me off. Yeah. Or, like, you send me off uh, on this journey. Yeah. To just the moon. Communication. <laughs> Just communication. Mad Hatter girl, thank you for the 10 buck tip. Woo! A friend of mine was in the same situation as OP and asked me for advice. I'm going to give the same advice as I did for my friend. If you cannot see yourself waking up every morning still madly in love with them, do not marry them. Preach. But yeah, that's the end of that story and the end of that episode. So if you love us, make sure to subscribe. We love you. And see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.